Hi there again. Welcome to another edition of video tutorial focused on solving a WordPress problem. In this video we will be discussing on how to fix the image error issue that occurs when post image or images are showing on the back end but not displaying on the front end or the visitors page. Now, this issue happens when you create a post on your WordPress or WP backend and you can see that you included the images and all their attributes but when you publish the post and check it by accessing the link using a browser, the images disappear. We will go step by step how to fix this type of issue. Please ensure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end to understand to, to quickly resolve this problem and increase your website traffic once more because this problem can really decrease your website traffic. Imagine the visitors on your website not seeing the images you posted in your post. That is a bummer. Even for me. While we are going into the full details, we would like you to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free, it will encourage us to do some more videos in the future. Now, let us talk about what causes this image error on your website. This tio of error is caused by the many factors. They range from conflicts in plugin after installations, theme problems, or even server and cPanel issues. Sometimes your server can the reason, your images are not showing up on your visitors end of your WordPress website. You may need to go to the cPanel to fix this. Again, it may be a theme issue, when this is the case, I recommend, uninstalling your current theme, and returning back to a default one. Once this happens and you check the images and they appear on the front end, you can continue using your default theme. You begin by deactivating your current theme that you installed and activated on your WordPress website. Then revert back to a recommended WordPress theme like this one shown here. Any default theme from the year 2022 to 2024 or even the year you are watching this video is alright to use as your default theme. Once you activate the theme, head over to the front-end side of your WordPress site to check if the images are restored. If yes, then your tutorial stops there. On the other hand, the problem could be a plugin problem, the best way to find out if this is the case is to deactivate the plugin one by one. Or simply deactivate them all and start activating them back one after the other to see the effect at the front-end side. You could also put all your plugins in troubleshooting mode and begin these actions. Of course, when you find the plugin causing the problem, and deactivate it, the image would be restored back on the website or wait. So I thought. Currently our images are showing on the front end since we deactivated the Lightspeed plugin on the back end side of the WordPress dashboard. However, this doesn't seem to be the solution because upon checking the same page with the another browser like the upper browser, we can see that the images are still not showing. We can see the featured images of the blog posts but not the images on the blog post page itself are missing. Now, if we put all the plugins in troubleshooting mode there by deactivating them or simply selecting all of them and deactivating them, we can see that the images on the front end of the blog post page has been restored. This means that one of the plugins installed is having conflicts with the rest of the plugins here in the row list of plugins. The best way to find out which one exactly it is is to activate each plugin one after the other. Once we activate a plugin, we will head over to the front end and see the effects of this on the front end website. Now, if you are running a WordPress website that has a lot of plugins, this could be a hassle for you since you have to take the same action for all your plugins on the website. But there is no other way. But if you discovered a better faster way, please leave this as a comment below.
We finally get to the culprit of the problem when we activated the Jetpack plugin. When we activated this plugin, it conflicts with other plugins in the list and this will make the images at the front end to disappear. And we noted this carefully. We have to let this plugin go. The Jetpack plugin is a heavy plugin that has a lot of functionalities. Our use for it on this website is the analytics of visitors on the website. It also allowed us to log in using the mobile WordPress access point and use the WP on the go. However, in this case, its disadvantage overweighs its usefulness. So we have to find an alternative. Since we removed the Jetpack plugin and we needed to be able to see the visitor's analytics, we needed to replace it with WP Statistics plugin. This would allow us to still see for the visitor's footprints on their website. The WP Statistics plugin is a lightweight plugin that would not put a lot of stress on the website speed or CPU. Hence why we choose it. You can still check online for other alternatives for the Jetpack plugin that you just removed. A quick search on the Google can reveal the list of possible plugins that you can use as an alternative. And that will the end of this video tutorial on how to solve the image error not showing up on your front end part of your WordPress website. You can leave us a comment below if you have tried this and it worked for you. You can also leave us a comment about other things you like us to work on. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.